constitutional law. First, we will see the historical background. The British came to India in 1600 as a traders in the form of East India Company, which had the exclusive right of trading in India under the charter granted by the Queen Elizabeth I. Means in 1600, they have arrived here as a traders. The Constituent Assembly was formed for the purpose of independence of India in 1946. On 26 January 1950, the Constitution came into being. These events have greatly influenced our constitution and polity. Among that, the first is the company rule. It is from the 1773 to 1858. This is all about the historical background. So in this company rule, the first is the Regulating Act. It is of 1773, then Amend Amending Act of 1781, then Pitts India Act of 1784, then Act of 1786, then Charter Act 1793, Charter Act of 18. 13. Charter Act of 1833 Charter Act of 1883 This act was the final step towards the centralization in the British India and then is the Charter Act of 1853 First is the Company Rule Second is the Crown Rule In that first is the Government of India Act 1858 Then Indian Council Act of 1861 Then Indian Council Act of 1892 then Indian Council Act of 1892, then Indian Council Act of 1909 and Government of India Act 1991. Then Simon Commission, then Communal Award, Government of India Act 1935 and Indian Independence Act of 1947. Here we have seen the historical background, how the acts were evolved 